look at how spread out that is now. It literally made the floors worse. Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're all doing well today. Today we are going to check out the Shark AI Vac Mops mopping ability. So it's a very small test. This will be a quick test, but it's going to tell us basically if it can get up the stains of all the different other mops that I did the same exact test for. So once again, like my other videos, I just smeared a little thin film of vanilla pudding in four different areas for this room. Let me show them to you real quick. Got one there. One there. Another one there. There should be one more. Yeah, right in front of it. So, I've done the same exact test to the iRobot BravaJet 240, the BravaJet M6, uh, the DBot T8 Plus, and those all pretty much failed the test. They just, they just couldn't get up this mess because all they really do is run over it a couple of times and that's it. I will say the T8 Plus D-Bot, I only had the normal mopping system on that. I did not buy the extra add-on, which basically just adds vibration. This has vibration built in. It's supposed to scrub 100 times per minute. So I could see that helping any cleaning job. So... I'm going to put this guy on its max wetness mode, and I'm going to tell it to clean twice. So I think that's going to give it its best shot of cleaning up this thin film of vanilla pudding. So I think this is going to do the best job out of any of those robot vacuums just because it vibrates. But I still don't think it's going to get it up. If it does, I'll be surprised. And I will straight up say this is the best mopping robot with the vacuum built in that you could buy right now. So I actually want this guy to do a very good job because I want to be able to say, hey, if you really need a mopping vacuum, this is the one to get. If this does a good job, then that'll kind of show you that the DBot TA Plus probably also does a good job if you buy their added on accessory, which is about a hundred bucks. So once again, I fill this with the solution that came with the robot, I'm gonna put it on max flow, and then I'm also gonna have it clean twice. So I do think it's gonna do pretty good, but I don't think it's gonna get it up perfectly, that's my guess. But we will find out very shortly as I start this. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Helps me out a ton, and it allows me to keep buying these brand new robots and reviewing them on this channel. So let's uh, get ready and start this guy. Here's, if you haven't seen it, here's the mopping attachment. Very easy to fill. The cap just goes up here. Fill it to the max. And then this slides right in. So it's a very nice reservoir. Probably one of the nicest ones. Most of the other ones you have to fill from the bottom. And it's just kind of harder to fill and everything. So let's go ahead and get this in. Very easy, it just slides right in. And then that water droplet shows up showing that Unable to connect to wireless network. you hear that it says that all the time it's been saying that all day long even though it works fine it's been kind of annoying actually every time i walk past it i hear it and it says it twice to to see but yeah it goes fine to my phone so i don't understand why it's doing that got it on map two times and start cleaning and then I'm going to change it to max flow. We'll see how this guy does. Turn this back to eco since there's nothing to really vacuum. Put that over to high. And we are ready to fly. Let's see how this guy does. Once again, it might take a minute for that uh, mopping pad to soak. And then hopefully, I, I hope this thing does a good job, but I can't see it helping that much because that thing just 
kind of wiggles back and back and forth just a little bit. It doesn't really vibrate quickly like I thought it was going to do. I'll get you guys, let me get you a close up real quick. Following behind it, you'll see what I mean. Be able to see if it's wet yet either. Yeah, it's just barely kind of moving. And now you can see it's getting wet. I just don't know how much that would really add to the cleaning ability. As you can see, the mopping pad is still not saturated yet. Actually, it looks barely wet at all. And it did not tell me in the manual to wet the pad before I did this test. We'll find out. I'll be quiet, and we will see this guy do its thing. And hopefully when we come back, those little smears are gone. I walk away for a few minutes and this dumb POS robot is sitting on the dock. Like why? Let's just do it again. I don't know why it went back. <sighs> so annoying. Mop. Two times, not for 10 seconds. It's on two, start cleaning again. If it does that again, I'm not gonna be very happy. Once again, I change it to high flow, low suction, and we'll see how this guy does. I hope it can actually go out and clean like it's designed to do. So it's supposed to go over two times. You should see it go over two times. So let's give it another shot. If I have to keep doing this, then I don't even know what to say. I really don't. Hopefully that was just a fluke and it's gonna do its job now. <laughs> I must say, guys, this uh, Shark AI Vac Mop is absolutely useless for mopping. Like, I'm almost speechless. For one, I told it to clean twice, and it did a single job. Uh, twice now it did that, and it... I can see every single stain that I put down. I don't even have to go over there. It is so putrid of a job. And that's on max flow, which is not even that wet. I don't understand. You know what? Let's send it off for the third time. So it shows one, but both times I click two. So see a two is highlighted just like the other times. And it's only going to do once because this thing's a POS. And once again, I'm going to change to max flow, which is not even that wet. Hi. Let's see how it does for the third run. This is ridiculous. Alright guys, that's the third time I sent that guy out. I don't, I was doing something else, so I don't think it went for a double run that time either. I'll check when I edit this, and I'll correct it if need be. But so, it went out a total of three times, maybe four if it did a double run that time. And I can tell from here, it did a terrible job. I'm going to let this, what you can see, the residue dry, and then we'll go over and I'll show you 
just how amazing this vac mop is. Truly disappointed. I actually really thought this thing was going to do much better than what I can see. So I'll be back in a couple minutes once this dries and we'll go over just how beautiful my floors are. All right, guys, the amazing Shark AI Robot Vac Mop Pro is done with its mopping test. Sonic mopping plus floating pad plate. Scrubs 100 times per minute. Constant pressure on hard floors. Breaks down stuck on messes. Yeah, right. Let me show you. All right, guys, I want to tell you one more time. I know you just watched it, but... This guy went out three separate times on maximum wetness mode with its sonic pulsating pad that scrubs all this film and debris clean. Let's take a look at how well it did, or didn't do. Oh, what is all that? This thing literally took that line of smear and spread it out for me. So it looks even worse there about over here oh there's it is look at all that it got up literally nothing the more smeared it around it just kind of pulled it let's see this one oh that's that's spotless i can't i can't see a smear there guys can you you know the final one oh wow this thing's really good i have to say <laughs> I had the biggest expectations for this guy because of their advertising on the box, their sonic mopping, all that BS. And I thought it was gonna do a good job, but this was literally the worst cleaning job I think I've seen on any mopping robot that I tested. It did so freaking poor and they're in my eyes, ripping people off for this Vac Mop Pro. <laughs> so in my opinion, do not, and I said this in all my videos, and I'll say it in the rest of my videos that I ever make, do not spend any money on a robot vacuum that claims to mop as well. Out of every single one I've tested, every single one sucks. This one is literally the worst job I've done. And I've literally sent it over three times. And all the other ones went over once. They all sucked, but this thing just, this was ridiculous. I don't even, I don't even really know what to say. Like, I wanted to like this robot. I even said that in one of my prior videos saying, I want Shark to prove me wrong because that IQ was not a very good robot either. This thing, as far as the mopping, is a joke. Once again, do not waste your money thinking that this thing will mop and do a good job. Keep in mind, I did use the cleaning solution that came with the package. That was not just water, that was their provided cleaning solution. And plus that's sonic mopping. You saw in that video that the back of that thing moves like this. Like, what is that going to do? It doesn't do anything. It's a freaking gimmick. So guys, I hope watching this video, I can steer you away from at least the mopping portion of this robot. Because they sell this as the Vac Mop Pro. And then they also sell it as just the vacuum one without the mop. And I stress saying this, do not waste your money on the mop version. Look at how spread out that is now. It literally made the floors worse. Look at all that haze everywhere. How does it do that? It looks terrible. Anyways, once again, if you don't want to take my advice, that's totally fine, but this test proves it. This thing's mopping abilities is a joke. Just like all the other robot vacuums with a mop, they all suck. Do not waste your money if you want that feature. So I hope this video helped you all out. If it did, please smash that like button. Subscribe, it helps me out a ton. And I'd, I'd be 100% honest in my videos. 
if something is bad, I'm gonna let you know if it's bad. If it's really good, I'm gonna tell you it's really good. This Shark AI, so far, is a bad robot from all the tests I've done. If you haven't checked out the vacuuming portion of this robot, please go back in my prior videos and check them out. It's kind of a ridiculous, some of the stuff it does as well, so. All right, well, that's it for this one. Hope you all enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.